And today we are learning new information about a giant balloon seen flying over Montana. It was believed to be a Chinese spy balloon. Now China claims it's being used for weather research, but the discovery has led U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken to postpone a high-stakes trip to China. CBS News' Willie James Inman is live in Washington, D.C. with the very latest. Hey there, Mary. That's right. Lawmakers are asking plenty of questions about this Chinese weather balloon, which the Chinese say is meant to study uh, weather patterns. But U.S. officials are essentially not buying that. They say this is likely a Chinese spy device, and it was spotted hovering over the skies of Montana earlier this week, which is home to key U.S. military installations. Well, what the heck is that? People in Montana spotted the giant balloon this week. And at first I thought it was a star, but I thought that was kind of crazy because it was broad daylight. It was just really crazy to see. The Pentagon is convinced the flying object is a Chinese spy balloon, seen hovering over a state where the U.S. maintains nuclear missile silos. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs recommended against military action, and the Pentagon decided not to shoot down the balloon because of the danger posed by falling debris. The balloon is currently traveling at an altitude well above commercial air traffic and does not present a military or physical threat. Lawmakers also want to know what's going on. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has called for a bipartisan intelligence briefing on the situation. For their part, China now says the balloon is a civilian airship used mainly for meteorological purposes. They claim that with limited steering capability, the winds pushed it off course and they regret it entered U.S. airspace. The balloon is now over the Midwest. Secretary of State Antony Blinken had been expected to visit Beijing this weekend for high-level meetings. The State Department says his trip is postponed. A busy few days. And now, Mary, a U.S. official says they are viewing the Chinese explanation with, quote, a fair amount of skepticism and that the U.S. is still trying to figure out the reason behind why the Chinese launched this device. Mary. Willie James Emman, live in Washington, D.C. for us. Thank you.